this is IBM Museum. Well, I finally got those 5494 files from that system diskette, 2.88 megabyte, moved off of my machine. And how I did it was to go through and set up a uh, parallel port uh, zip drive. And I've had this, uh, I bought it several months back, never even went through and pulled it out of the packaging until today. Um, have it set up on my um, my model 57 and um, as it was I was in a hard drive crunch because it's only a 240 megabyte hard drive that was on there and everything was packed I mean I didn't even have space on there at all so I was looking also to move files um, off the system which just really greatly helps without um, getting it set up with the network or anything like that um, it's kind of just the next best way and I do have zip drives elsewhere I need to get set up on a few more systems but now I can finally move around some of these files and uh, and work with things now one of the files I I did go through and I want to check out the um, the UNPC program again on this because I was certain that it showed a uh, the uh, results of the git configuration like we've seen with get the right remote here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get switched over to the system and you can see all that how it loaded all the um, uh, the the files for for getting that zip drive operational and I'm going to go through even to turn off the internal webcam just on what I'm going to work with here um, because I did go through and, and the drive the zip drive is set up as D as we can see from that listing uh, the CD-ROM drive is even set up um, it's now on the E drive both of these are even um, readable from the windows that I have loaded up on this machine um, and uh, same drive order and everything else for for the windows um, installation being on top of DOS now on the D drive I did go through and like I say I, I copied over the files I, I went through and I had um, even some stuff of my old um, EEPROM reader, that EMP10, it'd be interesting. I've located that in it. Um, it that actually might um, be what I need to um, to read some EEPROMs rather than making an adapter for um, my TL8662+. Um, there's some EEPROMs that that just doesn't read. But I'm also copying over uh, the WinSIT. Um, program that I did uh, worked on and I've demonstrated that before I'm going to just briefly step into the UNPC um, directory we can run that just to kind of breeze through I was I was thinking that and I think I even have I guess it doesn't recognize um, a uh, I think I have a mouse driver loaded but um, the standard UMPC program and you can run all these separate programs from the command line but I was thinking that there was a program um, that went through and gave information um, on the um, and let's look at the the bio state of uh, first this goes through and it actually gives the um, the the BIOS RAM uh, memory contents, it, or it shows how a lot of the structure is set up for the um, just in that working area of um, of RAM of how the uh, the system sets up. So that's not the BIOS data I'm necessarily looking for. Um, and I thought it'd be under like the system platform. Um, and that just gives the that gives the bio state and gives some information about the system, but really not much 
um, otherwise um, on that screen. It does uh, show it's it's detecting for that whether the system is a microchannel architecture. That one bit in the uh, in that uh, get configuration information I'm looking for, but does not show it. And of course the um, the uh, set program does show that information. And I do have that loaded on this machine. I think I've been through that before. Um, I was interested in seeing if this is going to show right off the bat, if it's going to show the... Um, yeah, I think it has to run twice to, to where it goes through and shows that microchannel extended CMOS for some reason there seems to be like a bug um, I think that's in there let me see if this will if this will show it or not no Okay. So, but in any regard, the the UMPC program wasn't showing uh, what it's looking for. And let's go back to the C drive. I think. Do I have a? Yes. And I think I have all the. Well, if I type the file right. I was going to do a, a directory, I guess. I, I was <laughs> confused between my three-letter commands. And this is the original set. What I'm looking for is this miscellaneous technical information. Uh, the feature byte information. And um, how that is. And... The, um, I was hoping for, um, and so this list of information, I mean, I could go through and, um, dig around for this information otherwise, or, or go through and make a program that reports, um, uh, it as well. And, of course, the one thing I didn't show when I was demonstrating my programs before, I didn't show that uh, the um, Visual Basic for DOS um, program that I was doing for the system information tool. And I've got a batch file that goes through and runs the Visual Basic for DOS. And... Um, goes through and I need to go through and work on this a little bit more. Let's go ahead and start it up because the only um, the only thing I have populated here, these selections don't do anything. And I think even for the video information it gives me an, gives an error. Um, but everything but the model and processor information. And I did um, um, probably that you see with the visual basic for DOS as well we've got the the block cursor that we're able to go through and so I've replicated a lot of the information that the the uh, system information tool has done within this program for this one area but I have not done anything in regards to the git configuration BIOS call that interrupt 15 hex uh, c0 hex and so I, um, I'll have to go through and maybe come up with something for that for the, um, uh, I don't have a button in here for that miscellaneous technical information like the SIT utility has. Now, it is important to note, and the kind of the link to the UNPC side 
is I've gone through and I've marked up. In fact, let's go through um, get my internal webcam on. Well, let's see. We can switch back over to the to the camcorder here, camcorder view. Because I've got my, and of course this is the first edition, I've got my, um, the UNPC book, that first edition, open to that get configuration information, and of course I've marked in the, uh, the margins here of kind of updating the information here. And I don't even think the second edition corrects that. I've got that um, here relatively close by as well. Um, but um, the at the top of the page, it's got some information here too. Uh, gets appointed to, to the configuration information on the system BIOS ROM. And I just wanted to make sure my, I don't have my internal webcam on, so I'm not going through and hiding any information here. And uh, normally this, this information often resides at, in the, the F segment at uh, that, that offset of E6 F5 hex. But starting with the PS2, IBM no longer retains a fixed location for this table. This table is typically 10 bytes long. And then it shows the, um, talks about the standard configuration. And I've even corrected a little bit of this from kind of the conventions of the F8 uh, more closely denotes that, uh, that it's a 386 plus um, CPU. And I don't know why I have PS2s in there. It's uh, any IBM system um, that um, that has a 386SX or 386DX or higher uh, is the F8 encoding. Um, and I'll go through and I'll, I'll list where um, I've done this uh, BIOS call online. In fact, probably it might be a good a point to freeze um, the video at some point and I can get that web page up even in this video. And um, I um, and I went through, and of course I've closed that book. I wanted to show that relevant to that, that's why I kind of thought of the UNPC aspect as well, is um, going through and with DOS debug and dumping that. Remember, they're talking about E. Let me get that the book open to that area again. It's going to be a long meandering uh, video, I guess. And I even forget the the page on. Okay. Well, wow, that's that's just uh, wonderful how I and I originally had to look this up in the index um, interrupt. Get on my. Glasses again. Okay. Okay. Fifteen hex C zero six forty eight. I was close to it. Okay. So it talks about that. 
at e6 f5 and debug always works in um, in hexadecimal and we can dump more than the contents for that um, but we don't see any structure um, of anything that kind of resembles that at the uh, at that location so I was going to go through and um, one of the other areas that I want to work with let's get back to is on my page I want to I want to list where the the various systems have that address so let me pause the video and bring up that information okay and here's the page that I was referring to that I've set up and I'll I'll give a link to this in the video description let's go through and just kind of look through this a little bit this is a um, the interop 15 hex function c0 hex uh, normally identified as git configuration it tells a little bit of the setup of the of the system um, and since the ibm pc um, of course all the ibm models had it in there the of the pc series the ps2s um, ps1s all the later uh, systems that IBM did they still had this table of information in there and um, we've gone through on how the system information tool displays this information uh, but we need a utility that actually goes through and uh, presents as it is uh, as I show here you know, some of the um, like that feature byte one bit one that did, you know shows the bus is microchannel, um, and that's how the, like that UNPC program did uh, to identify the system as microchannel. And then surprisingly, not going through and showing the extended CMOS um, contents that a microchannel system does. It's it's um, uh, I've seen that where it's not it doesn't run on the first time you get into the program you got to get out and get back in and even in that instance it didn't work uh, for me um, when I tried that earlier in the video but um, at the bottom of this I've always intended to go through you know this is the information that the system information tool pulls out of there for um, for showing up on the screen and reporting whether it has um, the SCSI support in IML or has that uh, info panel um, installed or whether the data stream is supported, whether it's got a non-8042 keyboard controller. That's the information that this, the system information tool reports. And I thought for the... Um, For all that and I have to see why I'm going through and interacting with uh, the display but it's I may have to go through in size I want to get further down there's not much information that's below this I do have where all the uh, so-called supported models I list all PS2 models uh, underneath that just as showing that that um, that all the PS2s do, in particular with that line, although many, many other IBM systems, of course, support that. And even from other manufacturers, they adopted a lot of the convention that IBM set up for that. So um, I want to actually have a space below that where I can identify where that information is on the, um, the various models of at least the PS2s as well. 
um, I can give a little bit of information of where that exists in that in that uh, in the BIOS, so that uh, that information, even a simple utility such as debug, could go uh, be used to go through and and to pull up that information. So. Um, I know that that's this has been kind of a convoluted um, video in a way, and it's it's where <laughs> I'm just kind of jumbling around to other um, uh, things of what I could do for a video tonight. Um, I really need to go through it, and this is as I'm going through and picking up a lot of the clutter and everything else. I'm very disorganized uh, within my studio right now, and I need to take care of that. Um, in addition to any videos, but I thought it might be a good segment to do uh, since I copied the files off with the zip drive to kind of show a little bit more and to show that a uh, system information tool that I'm effectively doing within the, the DOS um, environment um, uh, rather than that WinSit program uh, within where you have uh, Windows 3.0 or 3.1, something like that that being a good generic uh, DOS version uh, that could be used as an upgrade to sit uh, in the same way. Um, but uh, so hopefully uh, people like that convoluted sort of thing it, um, and you can click on the like button to express that if you want to. By the same measure you can comment um, you know whatever you want as well don't worry I can I can take it uh, if you thought that this is just I was going all over the place or whatever. So that's all I have for now. This is IBM Museum. Thank you.